So here's a case study on graph analytics. This is for a very large social media company. But the interesting thing with graph analysis is that it can apply to other realms and domains outside of uh, social media. As an example, a graph an analysis could be leveraged in uh, the government to be able to identify terrorists. For example, a graph is essentially just a series of vertices, ver vertexes or vertices that are connected by edges. And the point of that is to see how different people or different um, objects are connected to each other. If you take a look at the government where there's a desire to be able to identify terrorists or associate, people who are associated with terrorists, you can consider a situation where the government is leveraging multiple databases. In fact, recently the federal government announced that they were going to connect multiple databases together in order to have better counterterrorism and uh, other analytics. So it could be a case where you have uh, signal intelligence, digital satellite intelligence, uh, even human intelligence coupled with graph intelligence or graph analysis where you're seeing how particular um, individuals are connected to other individuals that may be terrorists or uh, accomplices or related to other terrorists. This could be very useful in order to provide leading indicators of be people of interest. Another analysis uh, using graph analysis could be uh, something that the Center for Disease Control or CDC could execute where they may want to be able to find or trace uh, new emerging diseases. As an example, a new strain of the avian flu, uh, you know, the, the swine flu, or any other new epidemic that may be facing the United States. And so using a graph, you can actually be able to detect how people are spreading a disease, different patterns, and how quickly a disease uh, is being spread. And obviously being able to identify and trace back through various graph traceability methods down to who patient zero was. In this particular case, the, it, it's a social media customer that was trying to do graph analysis where they're trying to leverage graphing to improve network recommendations. They wanted to improve the network connectedness of their user base to enhance their experience because the objective here was that by improving uh, and enhancing the networks of, a, of their community, then the users would be more uh, engaged and they would leverage the site more, they would use it more, they'd get their friends to come on the site and it would be a much better overall social experience. In the past, they were able to do this in a, in a very weak manner there were massive graph challenges for this particular social media company. It required a huge amount of data transfer to graph algorithms that lied on a server environment outside of the database, requiring a significant amount of latency. It was impossible to do within the SQL database because of limitations in semantics. SQL just isn't good at expressing graphs or representing graphs, and even if it were, uh, the performance uh, is absolutely horrendous, especially as the, the graph size explodes. For example, if you see a one user connected to 10 users who are subsequently connected to 10 or 20 more users, there's a immediate explosion of data. And that data explosion estimation and representation is extremely tedious and in fact impossible to do in, uh, in SQL. So they had to go outside the database and do a lot of um, multiple steps of moving small amounts of data in batch data transfer outside the database to some mid-tier application to do this. And it was extremely tedious and extremely time consuming, especially as the amount of data grew. We worked with this customer to develop a graphing SQL MR function, very conducive to graphs, not constrained by SQL or the relational constraints, and they were able to achieve much better performance. There were no more limitations as the graph explodes. So now, regardless of how big the graph gets or how complex it gets in terms of the connections of individuals to each other, uh, there are no more constraints because by the SQL MR function for graphing executes in parallel and has none of the limitations of SQL.